Hello and welcome back. I am Manic Mink. This is EU4, and let's get ready to rumble. Uh, not not really. Only only just slight rumbling. Uh, let's see. Last time we left off, we had taken Kandar and lost in a revolt uh, over in Emerti, uh, which is not pleasant. Now, uh, I believe we currently have the mission to remove Aquiliani from the map, and I'm glad, because I, I can't keep failing to pronounce that. Uh, I'll embarrass myself too much. Um, problem is, though, they're allied with Serbia, and let's see, they're allied with Golden Horde and Timurids. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I don't have to go to war with Serbia at all. They are, however, in a coalition against me, so let's... Let's see what we do. Let's see what happens when we do this. Um, let's move our ships over here. Uh, and we... Trebizond is also Akuyan's vassal, which is... Which is going to be a bit interesting in terms of uh, how we need to handle that. Um, because if we go to war with them, their vassal will come in. We can't, however, make a, uh, a peace deal with just Trebizond because, uh, because they're vassalized, and you can't negotiate with a vassal. You have to negotiate with the person who owns them, <coughs> which in this case is, uh, Kuyan. Um... It's going to be an interesting situation to see how this plays out, because we want to, uh... We would like to, I'd like to get both Trebizond and Kurdistan, uh, right here. I'd like to get both of them. Uh, they're allied with Golden Horde, Timurids, Trebizond, and Serbia. So they are allied with Serbia. Okay. I didn't see that anywhere, um... Allied with Golden Horde, allied with Timurids. <coughs> okay, I don't see an ally alliance with Serbia. Um, but apparently it's there. So, perhaps what do I know? Um, <coughs> okay, let's, let's do it. We did suffer a stability drop, which I'm not happy about. Uh, I can't boost the stability yet because I don't have enough. Um... We have low maintenance on our fleet, so we'll up that a bit. Uh, they will march here, you will march here, and we'll see how this goes. Um, <clears throat> okay, Serbia did come into war with them. Now, <clears throat> this is actually a good opportunity, because it allows me to talk about wars. Um, specifically, when you go to war with someone and someone else ends up in charge. Um, Serbia, in this case, is quite a bit bigger than our actual enemy, uh, Akko Yunlu. Fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're going to be gone soon. Uh, they're quite a bit bigger, so rather than, uh, rather than just be fighting against these guys and negotiating against them, Serbia kind of stepped in and said, well, actually, we're a bit bigger, we're a bit more powerful, we should be in charge. Uh, and you, you shouldn't be. <clears throat> what that means for us, it means that we're going to have to end up probably negotiating with Serbia to get out of this war. Because we can't negotiate with them, uh, with Kurdistan, we'll call them, uh, themselves, because uh, they are the target of our war. And if we, neg we can't negotiate with the target of our war, because uh, that's kind of the whole point of going to war. We need to negotiate with Serbia to allow... Uh, this to uh, us to take this. So that being said, I don't think. <coughs> uh, yeah, we definitely won't be able to annex all of Serbia. Um, I had hoped to. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm so uh, gross and disgustingly Flemish uh, at the moment. Um, that's P H L E G M Flem, not F L E M Flemish uh, of the nice people up in this area. That you're wonderful. Uh, I, you're not. You're definitely not the ones caught in my throat at the moment. Uh, so this is going to be interesting because we have to negotiate with Serbia, which means all of our uh, all of our war gains over here are going to be a bit um, not useless, but not entirely helpful um, because 
let's be honest, they don't care that much about provinces over here. If we took Serbian provinces, they we would have a huge war score. Uh, but we need to take these in order to then make progress elsewhere. And also, I'm wanting to keep an eye on our administrative power, uh, because unfortunately, as much as I would love to increase our technology, that's not going to happen for a while, and we need to get that stability up. Um, uh, let's also see if we can't get uh, yearly prestige plus two. You're only a plus one. You're a plus three. Um, plus three would be great, but you're 157 gold and 11 a month, and I can't... I just can't afford that uh, while I'm at war. So that's... Uh, it's going to be frustrating. So let's let's send these troops into here. Let's send you over here. Um, we want to wipe out these military forces. I'm hoping that Golden Horde don't actually get involved. Uh, just because they might have more troops that I don't want to deal with. Um, and I already have to fight Serbia, who have their 6,000 troops over here. So I'm going to march that way. Um, of course, you guys have the military leader, so let's... Let's do a little maneuvering here so that we can swap our military leader over to the Imperial Army. Th these guys who are actually going to be doing the fighting. Um, so no leader. You guys can march back. Uh, you, I want to grab the, these, uh, this military leader so you can hopefully get there a bit quicker. Um, and then we'll see. Serbia doesn't have as many troops as us uh, by a long shot. I think I checked the ledger and they only had something like 6,000. So they should be really, really easy to take care of. But um, it's still going to be a hassle because we still have to go and siege their provinces and fight them. And Ideally, I'd like to grab maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They have 9 provinces. Um, let me think, 3 for a vassal, so we'd probably need 3 to 4 in order to annex them entirely in our next war. Uh, that might be a bit tricky. Um, if only just because uh, they have... It's going to be a lot of war score, because we need to negotiate this... Uh, those two provinces from Serbia, as well as their own Serbian provinces. And, uh, spread the word, we gain a stability. That is amazing. I'm glad about that. I don't have to spend my uh, administrative points there. So let's start splitting off our troops, because we don't want them to make more troops while we are uh, wandering around sieging their provinces, because then we have to fight them again, and... Uh, it's much easier if we can fight them kind of as soon as uh, as soon as their troops pop up. So let's go here. Uh, also, Ragusa is the trade next trade zone to us, so that could be useful um, useful information to have. Okay, we fought them. Now we'll go up and fight these guys in Bosnia. Wonder if perhaps I could get them to release a country. I can maybe get them to release Bosnia. That's a possibility. Um, so these guys now will just be... I just want that to follow them around and let them uh, fight. Split them in half and we'll go over here. The only reason I'm doing this is because I really want to prevent Serbia from getting uh, any more troops out currently. Um, it might be a bit dangerous, because obviously if anybody big comes in, uh, we're going to be screwed. And I really don't like doing this too much. I'd prefer to have a much bigger army, uh, because of things like that. Um, Since so you and you, we'll meet up here. Um, but if we can get them... When their troops are first spawned or created, they have very poor morale. Um... And very poor morale troops tend to surrender without much of a fight, and we don't have to... See, Jakurtistan is over. Good. Uh, let's send you up here. Uh, we finished that battle. Good. Um, let's see, who's making troops next? Uh, uh, let's see, you will finish on... 
Uh, I can't see when that troop finish is being created. Um, Trebizond has finished as well. So let's send both of these guys over here. Um, what would it take to get Kurdistan and Trebizond? That's 35 war score. So we might be able to take two or three more provinces, actually, from... Uh, here, we'll send you up here. Uh, our 3,000 men, Army of Persia. You can go here, and Army of Anatolia. You can go here. Um, so hopefully that should... I think that should cover almost all of their provinces. We just want to, basically, when we get it like this, we've locked them down to the point that they're not going to be producing any more troops. They're not going to be... We're not going to have a surprise army show up, and, uh... I guess we can take this fleet back. Alright, um... Take some time, because we have to march them across the country. Uh, I'm an engineer, 40 military power. I don't need the military power. I think I'm doing okay on that so far. Again, tech-wise, um, I'd like to westernize, but I'd also like... Actually, if we can take Ragusa and Zeta, we can, we can westernize, because this is a Venetian core. And uh, they, I think, should be a new... They should be with the western tech group, so we should be able to vassalize if we can hit them in the right sort of order, I suppose. Okay, our troops are now marching. You are here. Good. Uh, our Dulcadir vassal is sieging uh, Travunia, which is amazing, and we are fully sieging all of their provinces. So now, uh, just check sieges. I don't want to be surprised by a Golden Horde army just showing up behind me. I don't think that'll happen. They look like they're staying out of it. Uh, units are suffering casualties. Uh, Siege of Zeta is over. Good. Um, we'll move to Ragusa because you need a bit more help. Uh, Siege of Serbia is over. So we're just... I'm going to siege all of their provinces and then see what I can take from them. Because ideally I would love to be able to take... Uh, most of their territory. If not, at least get to Ragusa so that I can start to westernize. My theory for uh, for holding back a bit on tech, as you can see, I'm four, five, six, which is a bit which is a bit behind. You know, a, a lot of people by about now would be at seven uh, tech for uh, government or I guess administrative, you call it now. Um, the reason I'm holding back on that is, again, in part because, uh, let's just make sure we have full fleet maintenance, okay, I'm gonna send you over here to siege this, um, it's because we're in the Ottoman tech group, again, so we take siege of that place, okay, we'll send you over here, um, <sighs> technologies cost 125% of normal, um, so rather than just costing 100% uh, tech cost, um, it's, it's costing us basically a quarter as much as all the Western countries. And really, we'd love to Westernize now. Um, mm, okay, that reduces all of our things to negative 100. Let's gain a stability. Perfect. Uh, we're now blockading that, so that should fall quicker. Um... But yeah, as long as we're in the Ottoman tech group, we're going to tech up slower than Western countries, and really, uh, I'd kind of rather get to the Western tech group and then tech up to their, uh, to kind of be on their level, you know, get on their, get on their level, bro. But, um, yeah, until then, it's, it, I don't want to say it's a waste to spend points in tech, but it's not it's not as useful as it could be. Um, we kind of have better luck just uh, Chagtai, Siege of Ragusa, okay. Um, it would kind of be better to just spend it more, still spend our administrative power on this just to get better stability cost. Oh yeah, because then when we westernize we go to negative 
I think it's negative three stability. So we're gonna have a ton of revolt risk, and that's not that's not gonna be the most pleasant of experience. Um Army of the Balkans. Man, we keep Every time we make a new army and every time we move an army around, we keep losing what our army names were. And I like I like I like it when they name the army names, you know, by themselves because then I kind of can get a bit of I guess a bit more of a sense of where I want to put uh, where I want to put all of our armies and where I want to kind of keep guys stationed. So if we westernize, we're going to end up with a lot of revolt risk. Um, because negative three stability is going to really negatively impact our revolt um, chances. So we're going to have to kind of play it very cautious. And I'd like to get church attendance duty before we do that because, you know, a, a decreased stability cost modifier is going to be really helpful. Um, just in terms of... Uh, uh, I'm just looking at these right now just to see what we have. Um, yeah, just uh, we'd like to get a negative stability cost modifier just because, um, you know, it would help out a lot. We would be a lot less likely to be sort of overrun by, uh, by random troops. Um, let's see, once this finishes, we should be able to uh, make progress on finishing this. We're only at 33%. Why are we only at 33%? Um, we have all of your territory, Serbia. Uh, Milan's also involved. Okay, so we're at, we hit 100%. Now let's, let's go to peace uh, these guys out. So we definitely want Trebizond and Kurdistan. So we'll grab those two. That's 35 um, I'll see if I can get Zeta and Ragusa. Perfect. Now, let's see if we can release Bosnia. Releasing Bosnia gives one, two, three, four provinces. Um, Ragusa would be... Uh, that's all of Ragusa. But we want Ragusa because we want Dalmatia uh, as a province. Let's see if we can't... I could grab all of these, and then Serbia only has one, two, three, four, five provinces. Or I could force them to release Bosnia, and then next time I go to war, Serbia only has three provinces. Also, I can then go to war with Bosnia and get one, two, three, four provinces pretty easily. I think we gotta do that. Okay, sending demands. Uh, Army of Anatolia, we're gonna send there, and Army of Persia, we'll send out here just to try and make sure that everybody's happy. Okay. So now, let's see, we need a core on these provinces. Um, crap, this is going to take a while. Okay, let's let's spend our administrative power. Uh, I don't like spending administrative power, but these being cores would be helpful. Okay, so we remove that. We've gained a holy war against Bosnia. Serbia entered a military coalition against us. Conquer Aleppo. Incorporate Dulkadir. Where is Aleppo? Um, uh, Aleppo is Mamluks. Uh, let's see. Allied with Golden Horde. Um, let's see. Ledger, Mamluks. Uh, the. They're under T for the, which is weird. I think they're under T for the. The Mamluks. They have 22,000 troops. So we have more than them, but... I'd like, honestly, I'd even like a few more troops. Hungary entered a military coalition. Gained a CB against Venice. Uh, okay. So, everybody's walking home. Army of Anatolia, you guys can go there. I'm gonna rename you Imperial Army. Just to keep you guys straight. Imperial Army. Perfect. Okay. Um, so let's, let's let everybody unpause and keep going. Uh, we're making a core on Ragusa again because I'd like to um, hmm, conquer Aleppo. This is we can when can we incorporate Dulcadir? Um, 1473. That'll be a couple years, sure. Let's do that. Um, incorporate Dulcadir. Uh, 
Ha, let's see, ideas, we need 400 and we're at 321. Um, and I'd like, if I can, let's drop our f army maintenance and drop our fleet maintenance, but let's... 33 of 47, so let's see, this is 3 infantry. Uh, so 3 infantry, let's go 3... 4, 5, 6... Um, and I'm just trying to see where it's cheapest to produce our guys. I think these are the only provinces we built, uh, buildings in. Yeah, this, I, those are the only provinces we built our armory in, which reduces cost. And then, hmm. Let's see if we can't increase trade power a bit. Uh, this costs diplomatic power points. So sure, let's... Let's spend a bunch on here uh, just to we can get a bit more money. Uh, we can get a bit safer, uh, a bit safer when it comes down to um, affording more troops, which is what I'd like to do eventually. I'd like to get maybe three armies of fifteen. I think would be appropriate. Um, you know, a bunch of revolt risks. So let's. Uh, let's handle these revolt guys. Uh, manage over extension. We need a core on Kurdistan. Let's wait on that for now. Um, there we go. Revolt risk should be good, so we should have uh, hopefully put down some of these revolts. Uh,. Okay, so our revolt risk should be a bit lower now. That's good, because um, we don't want guys to revolt right this minute. Um, where is our three army going to? You're going to Ezerum. So let's head you over there. And let's head you over there. Okay. So we're slowly kind of building up our armies. Um, I think 15 to 16 or 17 is usually good, because... We don't end up running out of supply uh, very easily at that point. Um, and eventually I'd like to get some artillery units uh, into here, but we don't have artillery yet, I don't think. Um, let's see. Tech. No, we don't have artillery yet. That's our next level of military tech. Um, once these core and I get uh, enough tech for the next point in the stability reduction modifier, uh, we can hopefully westernize. And that, that'll that probably be next episode, or possibly even the episode after that. But I'd like it to be soon, because uh, the longer we wait to westernize, the farther behind we fall. Um, is that 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, 10. Okay, so that's 10 infantry, and then we'll wait a bit to get... Uh, We'll wait a bit to get the next, um, uh, what do you call it, the next level of, uh, so this is plus 120, so plus 120, sure. Um, we'll wait a bit to get the next level of, uh, gold or stability. Um, I'm going to go for gold right now, just because stability, we're going to be losing it soon anyway. Uh, and I'm building these up so that we have enough money. Um, because money is going to be really useful once we... Well, money's always really useful. What am I talking about? Um, money's extra special useful because we really need the uh, increased uh, money to support an increased army, which we'll need then when we actually do end up uh, not going to war, but when we do end up... Um, here, we can invest in another national idea. That's perfect. Okay, so we have increased stability. We also have uh, religious unity plus 33%. I don't know what religious unity does entire... Oh, this looks like it's... Uh, well, with our positive stability, we can start converting people. Um, we have two missionaries, so let's send out a missionary to Munster. Uh, 166 months. That's a long time, actually. I'd love to get Ragusa to be Catholic, but that's going to take forever. Um, 
Okay, let's let's wait here and see how that goes. Um, you two can I can send you to here, and you I'll send to here. Um, then once we get that army up enough, then we should have enough armies kind of scattered around to make a difference should we have a revolt. Um, let's build, I guess, more marketplaces. Uh, we are already working on that one, so already working on that one, and we're already working on that one. Okay, so we can't build any more marketplaces. Um, so let's get uh, units. One, two, three. Uh, three more cavalry. And it doesn't look like we're going to go over our cost of uh, our limit of... Um... And let's, let's send this other guy to start converting now, just because I want... Uh, I'd love to get those sort of religiously converted while we're... Before we start westernizing, because a minus three stability penalty, and man... We're going to be screwed um, for a while. We're going to probably have a lot of revolts, which is usually what happens, unfortunately, when you westernize. But if you want to have any chance of, uh, or any hope of, I guess, it happening, you need to westernize. Um, in the meantime, current piety, negative 51%. Uh, declaring war on a... Minus... Man, I'd love to get... Uh, Okay, so being... Where is Crimea at war with? You are at war with... Mamluks, Gordon, Golden Horde, Uzbek, Cyprus, and Timurids. Sure. We'll let you through our territory. Um, ideally, what I was trying to say... Or, I guess not ideally. Um, it's just interesting, because we can uh, sort of... There's benefits and... Uh, penalties to being pious. The more pious, the more missionary strength... More morale, more fort defense, but the less pious, the less our tech costs. So, oh man, Trebizond, 47 months, that would be great. Um, let's see, Adirn, you are going to take forever. Let's send to Trebizond, because uh, 47 months will be better than a million billion months. Um, of course, we'd also... Monster Rebels, um, okay... All right, so it looks like in the foreseeable future we're going to be building, converting, uh, and kind of getting getting prepared to westernize. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I've been Manic Mink, and this is a U4. You've been you, and stay tuned because I'll see you next time.